If you've just gotten into record collecting, then you've probably heard the word receiver mentioned right alongside turntables, preamps, and vinyl records themselves. Well, what exactly is a receiver and how does it relate to record players and record collecting in general? Well, today we're gonna answer those questions so you can know a little bit more about receivers. Okay, so first off, in order to understand where receivers fit in, we have to first understand the vinyl audio setup. Now, as I've mentioned many times on this channel, and you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it, in order to play records, you're gonna need four items. Turntable, preamp, amplifier, and speakers. If you're missing any one of those things, it ain't gonna work and you can't play records. So basically, you need all four. Now, here's the broad strokes overview of how this whole thing works in super duper serious detail. So every turntable or record player has a cartridge on the end of its tone arm. Now this cartridge has a stylus or record needle which rides in the grooves of your records. Now the cartridge then uses some sort of voodoo magic that I don't fully understand to convert these grooves into an electrical signal. Now this signal is very weak and very quiet. Kind of like me last week when I had the flu. Not fun. So this weak sauce audio level travels to the preamp where it gets injected with Lance Armstrong level steroids and boosted to a line level, which is a much louder level. Now this line level then goes over to the amplifier where it gets boosted even further, which frankly, we didn't think was possible. And then it gets sent to the speakers. Now, once the signal arrives at the speakers, the speaker drivers or cones move back and forth, sending sound waves flying through the air, which then vibrate our eardrums in a certain way, which is interpreted by our brain as music. So that is the whole audio chain. It's really wild if you think about it. All right, so now that we know how everything works, let's talk about where receivers come into play. So a receiver is a type of amplifier. And as we already know, every setup needs a turntable, preamp, amplifier, and speakers. So basically after you've got the turntable and the preamp, the amplifier is the next most important piece of gear. So receivers in particular are special because they allow you to connect lots of different devices to a single amplifier and then have the music come out of the same speakers. So for example, if you wanna play records, CDs, and cassettes, then a receiver is definitely the way to go because you can connect your turntable to the line one input, CD player to line two, and a cassette deck to line three. And you can have the music from all those devices playing out of the same two bookshelf speakers. So that is really cool. So basically with a receiver, after everything's hooked up, all you have to do is select the input and you're good to go. Kind of like your TV, you know? Like input one is the cable box, input two is the Blu-ray player, and so on. So it's the same exact concept here, but just with music. Now, as a side note, there are also tube amplifiers and solid state amplifiers. Tube amplifiers use vacuum tubes in their audio chain and a lot of audiophiles out there swear by them and say that they produce a warm and lively sound, whereas solid state amps don't. But since these are all internet opinions, people go back and forth on this topic all day long. Now, I've only ever owned a solid state amplifier, which is the receiver that I'm gonna tell you all about in a second, and it honestly sounds great to me. So I don't really have a dog in this fight, but regardless of all of that, this is really a topic for a whole other video, but since we are talking about amps and receivers in this video, I just wanted to let y'all know about this other type of amplifier as well. All right, now getting back to receivers, I have the Yamaha RS201 as my primary amplifier, and it's worked great for me over the years. Unfortunately, Yamaha has discontinued this exact model, but they do have the newer RS202, which is basically the exact same thing, only with Bluetooth functionality as well. So if you need a receiver for your vinyl audio setup, then I'll put a link to it in the video description down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. So basically getting back to the receiver itself, 
I have my turntable plus my external preamp, the Project Tube Box DS2, which does use vacuum tubes. I have my DVD player, which is actually kind of doubling as a CD player, but can also play DVD audio discs. I have my cassette deck and I have an aux cable so I can play music off my phone yet again because this receiver is sans Bluetooth functionality. And all of that stuff is plugged into different inputs on this receiver. So basically a receiver gives you options. That's really what they're all about. Different music on different formats and that is something that I really like. Also as an added bonus, some receivers even have a phono input and I pronounced that right this time. I was always calling it a phono input for a long time, but anyways, a lot of receivers have a phono input in the back, which means that it also has a built-in preamp. So if your record player that you got doesn't have a built-in preamp, then you can connect it to this input on the back of the receiver and you're gonna be good to go. Now, switching it up a little bit here, let's say that you only wanna play records and you have no interest at all in playing cassettes or CDs or eight tracks or anything like that. Well, in that case, you actually don't even need a receiver at all. You'd be better off getting a pair of active speakers like the Mica PB42Xs or the Klipsch R51PMs because those unique speakers already have the amplifier built inside. So it really all depends on what your individual needs are and what music you wanna play on, what formats and what you wanna hook up. But hopefully now after watching this video, you know a little bit more about receivers and how they can benefit you in your vinyl journey. All right, now before we go, today's song of the day is Break On Through to the Other Side by The Doors. Great song. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Now, what amplifier or receiver do you have in your vinyl audio setup? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love collecting records as much as I do, then feel free to smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell right down there so you won't miss out on any future videos. And most importantly of all, have an awesome day, stay safe, and keep spinning that vinyl.